wherever, whenever, and whoever you are, and welcome back to Phoenix Iwaki. Welcome back to the jungles of Chult and into the depths of the maze of the fortress of the Necromancer warlord Raznisi. Good to see you all. Thank you for joining out in chat there. Thanks for hanging out. We'll get everything sorted. And I hope that everyone's having a great weekend um, or start to the week, depending where you are in the world. And we are excited to jump back in here to the work of Timely Logo Dan Karn as we are playing Whispers in the Nissi Wastes, a supplement for Tomb of Annihilation, which can also be got as a fun one shot for a jungle type adventure if you so wish. Check out all of Dan's awesome stuff over there. Now, last time, our adventurers went into a large throne room where they battled against a animated plant that seemed to want to make them into spore zombies. As they did so, they managed to defeat it and continued exploring around, finding an alternative entrance and exit into and out of the um, palace. Then they discovered a maze, a sacred thing to the absentee landlord that is the god Uptau here in Chult. Um, and making their way through the maze, they found various glowing orbs that set off certain challenges. They had to defeat zombie velociraptors um, to show their might. Um, they had to prove that they could not be deceived by illusions hiding glyphs that triggered imprisonment um, enchantments, which didn't go as well. And Ember is now inside a crystal ball going, help, help. I feel like it's not again. It's probably more like that. It's just like oh, <laughs> okay. It's then. the kill bill bit. <laughs> um, the other one was a proof of courage, where a wall of fire appeared, which you just had to step through um, to be unharmed. Any other attempts to circumvent were getting you uh, injured and burnt. And last but not least, we have a glowing green orb which has yet to be activated, and the doorway, which is awaiting their proof of worthiness that they may enter the shrine of Uptau. What's up, Uptau? So, let us return here to our adventurers. Ember, Waku, you have crystals. You, oh, yeah. Maris, you do not. But you do have an echo. Uh. And that's I do. Is where we're going to jump back into the tomb of annihilation. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 okay, so. <laughs> Waku. Mutant Waku. Oh, yes, it's me. <laughs> there we go. You stand before the pedestal with the green orb atop, um, which I remind you, red, reminds himself, <laughs> um, da, 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 da. one worthy of Uptau should be a convincing leader. Mm. Which was very apt, because Waku had sat upon that, shra um, that throne and gained the uh, indefinite madness that uh, <laughs> he thinks he is the most important, most beautiful, most charismatic person hasn't changed room. it's not yeah it's hasn't not. yeah that tracks that, that tracks <laughs> yeah nobody knows the thing <laughs> um in addition to being the group leader i have also a group of zombies that is separate sure. i'm clearly the most leader like here <laughs> um yeah. so i guess i guess we touched the orb okay as you place your little scaly paw on the orb, there is a shimmering behind zombie number three. Heart, dun, dun, dun. heart mark is good friends in chat. <laughs> and mm. We like the zombies. Too. A Chulton armored guard appears in the corridor behind them, standing to attention. What do you do? Take a look at him and can I be like, good sir, hello. No response. No response, huh? 
Mm. I, I suppose he requires the a more firm approach. <laughs> Good, sir. I will need you to move out of the way so that we can continue from whence we came. What gives you the rights? <laughs> I am a great and powerful necromancer. Such is my such is my way. Is that persuasion or deception? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it pers <laughs> I, he, he fully believes the, the question is yeah, is deception rolled when um, you, you, it's you're it's true speaking the truth yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll use that we'll use that crystal by the way I can use the crystal like, okay. are you lying so make to a yourself? persuasion check please <laughs> oh it's a very good roll um, do, 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 where is my character Looks, sheet? If you've got some tasty dream pies, you can give our adventurers advantage crystals. It's, uh, me, and disadvantages. And of course, any subs and give subs spin that wheel. All of our adventurers are sadly lacking any tasty treats at the moment. Mm. And Amaris, Amaris said just before we went live, just off camera, I was like, I need the wild magic surges. No, I did not. I do. Get out of here with that shit. I love the wild magic searches. Give me my face shit. Wild magic searches always fuck me over. That's why, that's why I had to separate it's you the on the overlay. Part. Just this conflict. This conflict will never good. Happen. 24. Wow. Ooh. Heck yeah, great and powerful worker. He's like, ah, a great and powerful necromancer as the one who before walked these halls. <clears throat> and they step out of the way and make room to pass as the green orb illuminates the final one shining its light on the interior of this stone maze much like behind me here and Ember, you feel a <gasps> as you are ejected from your crystal as you, as you do oh. that like Ember's like as Ember's popped out they've suddenly got a sewing kit and they're like okay <laughs> I'm afraid only Kai's there to see it. <laughs> but Kai Kai kind of gambles around you like a puppy. Like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. I walk to the great and powerful necromancer who have unlocked the door. <laughs> you may proceed now. Is the blue crystal unlocked? Is the blue crystal yes. blowing or is it yeah, still it's okay. dull? No, it's okay. <laughs> if the other... Um, I... It is, as it said, um, should the, uh, the one worthy should be difficult to deceive. Um, and the blue crystal was an, an utter hoax. The, the other three are the ones that need to unlock the door. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Love that. Again, I, I point your anger and iron at Danka. <laughs> oh, I'm not upset. Ember would have touched the crystal just because someone Dad. told them to. Like, <laughs> Dan. Dan. puts it, puts hands on hips. No, no, come on, come on. Come on. We've we got, go got to go to the Star Trek crew. Khan! Khan! <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I think as as like they pop out and they're like, checks the bubble. Yeah, well, it's it's a it's I guess it's I guess we set it off, and just <laughs> walks off. They don't they have no idea that it was a fake one. It's like right. it's the blue one's illuminated too now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you um, you hear Waku's voice and the sound of slightly uh, decomposing golf claps from his zombie appreciators. <laughs> hey, let's just walk in. Um, and uh, everyone heads over that side of things. Who's slapping wet beef together? <laughs> Zombie claps. Zombie claps. claps. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> gross. All right. Well. <laughs> oh, chat. What I wouldn't do for a fireball right here. Look at that. <laughs> okay. Now. So, I, I can make that happen if you'd like. <laughs> can I? Can I, I'm just gonna close my eyes and and, and use Sirenscape to just live the dream. Hang on. Just because we can does not. Well, it's funny, like, because the thing is, anyone within within 15 feet of Kai can technically be transported. So, like, I can technically transport the whole group in a fireball. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that would be a mass a mass uh, movement, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so um, Waku, great and powerful. Yes. But still, cowardly hiding behind his zombie minions. Does not. Uh, power. What minions of Intelligence. <laughs> what, 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 you know. 
Um, and where's the uh, doorway bit here? So yeah, the the orbs are. Um, you see the various orbs colors shining through the corridors here. They emit bright lights twenty feet down each corridor there, um, from there, you know, going around the corners and stuff. Um, and <laughs> Dan Dan covering his bases here. Each orb is fixed in place with sovereign glue. <laughs> so you cannot steal the orbs. <laughs> it sounds like lame. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Um, okay, um, so yes, as you um, make your way um, to the end, you see that the door stands um, slightly ajar. The zombie opens the door. Okay. Filled with jam. When there's a door, there's a door. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> Colby, you're a dad now. You're not allowed to shake your head like that anymore. Join me. <laughs> Join me in the dad jokes. <laughs> I do love a good dad joke. <laughs> but is it? It's like you merely, you merely adopted the dad joke. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, boop. Here we go. Oh. Well, do, 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 do. that was very walker of me just then. Um, <laughs> um, the the orbs in the corners are illuminated, um, as the ones in the maze have been, and you behold the room before you. A spiraling maze is painted in red in the center of this pristine room. An altar stands against the southern wall with a small chest surrounded by gold pieces. Uh, Waku runs <laughs> around Before. the uh, or runs around the symbol in the middle of the room before reaching the, the um, altar. With the that painting, chest. that painting, that thing on the wall you just ran past there—that is a—that is a painting of the fortress in its former glory atop the uh, giant turtles. Uh, I had two questions. <laughs> yes. Um. Can we, can we rock be tackled, <laughs> Waku? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, kind of. Uh, but the first one's actually more to do with the fact that the bloody is still on. Um, uh, still on. Hugh? Uh, who's it? Hugh. Because yeah, Hugh. Isn't Hugh bloody? I, is he bloody? Because yes, I, I did. Because I've given. Because I'm down two healing lights and a cure wound. So you should be so, up. Or did my... you get hurt again? No. My max health is 59. I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, I'm at like 24, 25-ish. So it's half health? So, yeah, it, it's just under half health. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, you're, yeah. You're, you're at 27 or 50. So you're... 27, so you're okay. okay, then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just <laughs> I... right at... Pretty okay. Okay-ish. I think... <laughs> It's like, okay-ish, okay, my max HP is 43, so like, you know. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too! Um, okay, so, let me um, have a look here. Um, are we doing anything to stop the Waku before he touches the gold, or <laughs> is that... I think um, he Because had... Ember has no idea what's going on. He was between two zombies, I think it would have been pretty tricky to, <laughs> tricky to grab. Yeah, we afraid. would... Yeah, we wouldn't yeah. see them. Walks so, through. Yeah, everyone, oh, uh, yeah, everyone put yourself... Before. There you go, yes, yes, um, definitely. Uh, Waku, Ember, and Hugh, you are reminded of the maze that you saw on the doorway beneath the heart of a towel, where you <laughs> rescued certain little lobsters. Lobsters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was this not also the maze that was on the floor of the temple? That indeed, yeah, the monastery. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> the Arakokra monastery from whence Amaris came. <laughs> um, All right. We got wait. You, how how big is the inscription of the maze on the ground? Um, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I haven't got eyes on anything. Um, it's, gonna... it's fifteen feet across. It's fifteen foot Look. diameter. So. Okay, because I'm if I recall correctly, we so, so, so. had to. Oh, I don't have Discord on this computer either. So no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. The Zoom, Zoom chat. chat. Beautiful. So you can see what's going on. Hey, bless. All right. You're welcome. That's pretty big. Because the last time I remember seeing this thing, we had to trace it with blood. Uh, 
No, and it filled with blood, didn't it? When you opened the... No, you, you used blood from your fingertips. We had to trace... It. trace oh, yeah. Right. So, I mean... Hmm. Charlie got grumpy because his idea didn't even work. <laughs> so... <laughs> and she, like, pulls out a dagger and is like, This? Whoa, okay, hold on. That... Might take a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> she just, she's literally holding it like this, like just stick your finger. Yeah, um, well, Hugh, the the one on the door was very small, <laughs> and yeah, had, an, had one... an inscription that hinted at life <laughs> force being. Big... Needed. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 that one was like like this big. It, it was not fifteen feet across, so. We might need a little bit more blood than a prick um, of the finger. Are we not can going get. to check on Waku? <laughs> I heard them run. Oh, he'll be fine. Uh, everyone, everyone, put yourself in the room because I mean, if you're discussing the maze, you would be in the room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Point, point of order. Um, if everybody is in the room <laughs> discussing the maze, Waku is already well engaged with the point of, um, yeah, point in question. <laughs> um, so, so there you go. Um, yeah, so you make yeah. your way in there and um, talking about that there. Now, Amaris, you also remember back to the um, monastery and how the Aarakocra would trace the maze with their wingtips as they were meditating. Well, we don't have wings. We don't have wings. <laughs> yes, but you, well, you, you, have, you have your flesh bag equivalent. Yeah, that's true. Some of us have vestigial wings, but true it's true yeah. <laughs> um, all right so Hugh, flaps? i <laughs> cannot uh, move you into the room thing. i have it's okay um okay so uh, let's have a look here du -du 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 -du. Amara, the menace said, men yeah the, the air coca they trace with their wings uh, what is it? Uh, Emra looks down at their little, like, small things and goes, well, I can begin to start, but... Hey, yeah, look, wings are wings, Emra. It's... It's worth a shot. Uh, this is all while, like, Emra is, like, glancing up at what's going on with Waku and wondering why no one's doing anything. Look, he'll be fine. He's fine. <laughs> um... He's very intelligent. <laughs> and powerful. Mm. Did you check to make sure it wasn't like yucky? Um, actually, as Hugh, as you as you say, he's very intelligent. Um, um, you just you just hear a giggle behind you. You're, you're in the doorway, um, with everyone kind of fanned out to the your left and right. Right. Um, uh, you just that hear a giggle something. behind you. It's like. <laughs> that says maybe, but uh, your rotten bodies will be mine. And I'd like everyone to roll initiative, please, as I get a little, um, a little, a little surprise on you here. <laughs> a spider transformed into a druid behind you. <laughs> a what? A what? This guy here. Hello. Uh, your initiative is up? negative negative one. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I have this very nice green dice that I will be rolling. I have I your character do sheet up, so I, I'll, I'll bless you, sir. Please do, please do. Oh. Um, are you so yeah. are you able to give me editing preferences so I can change his, ten, his HP? I will. It's okay. Thank you. Oh. Um, okay, how'd your uh, how'd your initiative go there, Waku? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Nice. Okay. I've been rolling real high on these initiatives. My initiative is yeah. Really good. I don't know what's going on, guys. Yeah. Twenty-one. Ember? Yes, Ember twenty-one. Okay. Uh, what's what's your initiative score? Mine. Yeah. Uh, plus two. Okay. Uh, I know what that means. <laughs> right. Is that plus two? Ooh, you get to go first because I got also got twenty-one, but I got a nat twenty with my plus one. <gasps> good. Use your nat twenty now. It is. It will do you no good. Burn <laughs> it. Um, Burn. Okay. Um, you, I you go? to chat. That you can avoid inspiration <laughs> and disadvantage. 16, John. To me too. With the minus one. Exactly. 16. Cheers, buddy. Yep. And Amaris? 14. Noted. Okay. Um, so, um, our 
druid friend here, who seems to be the cultivator of all the various bits and bobs that you have come across, <sighs> um, says, he just says, your rotting corpses shall be mine. <laughs> and um, let's see here. I would like Kai, Hugh, Ember, and Amaris to yeah. make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Kai, Hugh, and Amaris? And let me just do a quick square here. Where are you, Kai? Um, who would it be? Hang All on. right. Here, Josh. Here. Yes. I, I rolled a 19. Does this involve being... a constitution? Being... Yeah. Uh, 26. Does this involve being okay. charmed, frightened, grappled, prone, or restrained? Actually, not Kai. Sorry, you're good. That's good. Okay. There we go. There. So to I roll. I like that area of effects thing. I like the little the kind of glow around it. <laughs> it's cool. It's nice. Yeah. Alright. Works so um, I, I've. I've still I'll got. Right back. Do I still have my beaky thing on? I figured um, I did, but I want to make sure I've got that clarified with you. I, it's, I I, it's not going to work for this, I'm afraid. Sorry. Okay. You have a crystal. Good. Just stop checking. Uh, 17. Okay. 19. Okay. I think Hugh said his was a 26. 26? He rolled a 19, Dude. and then whatever his modifier is. Yeah, it's just seven, so quite high. Plus seven, yeah, hell yeah. I, I, was, I, mean, I, respect, I respect because he's like he's the guide figure and stuff. He's like, no, no, not not a ranger. Remember, he's a, he's a fighter. <laughs> he's a he's a, he's a he's a fighter, not a lover. And a lover. <laughs> Titty window says otherwise. <laughs> now. <laughs> um. <laughs> Completely not heard any of that. No. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Not at all. Okay, so um, let's have a look here. Okay, so yeah, he um, uses the spreading spores action there um, on the um, on the surprise. Mm -hmm. Let's see if uh, there's just one thing here. Um, Okay, sorry. He's um, sorry. That's a lair action, actually. So he's gonna. That will happen after uh, Ember's first turn. Okay. Um, actually, no. It would happen. It would happen on the surprise can, round as well, right? You can yeah. do it on his Yeah. Side. So, but he 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 attacks first. So he's gonna attack you, Hugh, first with the uh, surprise. It's surprise. <laughs> so this surprise sucks. Um, okay. So Hugh. This is not a good surprise. <laughs> um, does a twenty-two hit? Yes. So it is. He doesn't have his character. Oh, no, no, it's his mic. <laughs> oh, everything just fails at the same time. My gosh. Can't hear you, mate. Is it input settings? Yeah, if you changed, if you switched it up, maybe the inputs wrong input set. Oh no. I shall prepare the various dice that I need. Oh my god. <laughs> it's for you? You get no dice. Uh. Du -du -du -du. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes, yeah. I. 22 definitely hits. Okay, so he lashes out with his staff of withering. Oh. And hits you four. Um, that is going to be um, s 10 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And two poison damage. Oh, Raid. okay. Raid. And... Mm. Nine necrotic damage. <laughs> a lot of damage. Ouch. Oh, okay, yeah, is that he is down? a lot. No, but I'm seventeen. In bad so seventeen shape. total. 
17 total. Yeah, so I'm right at 10. Okay, so that's so, legs. Yeah. It's a bad shipper. That's how I, I feel. The appropriate uh... mark today. <laughs> you did. That's yes, legs. yes, okay. you did. My yes, favorite part of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Again. Um, okay, <laughs> again. Um, and uh, can you make another constitution saving throw, please, you? Oh, yeah. Another one! Still and another plus seven. one! Okay. Um, a 14? A 14. Ooh, that is not enough. You ah. have disadvantage on all of your d20 rolls for the next t one hour. No! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That's Damn, really not Damn, Dan! Good. What the hell? <laughs> that is very that's, uh, nice. That's, that's real rude. And um, he's going to take advantage of the um, surprise that they have here and um, snook off around the corner there. Uh, two, four, six, they running off and disappear around into the maze. <laughs> oh, you may have defeated my plant baby, but you will be compost for the next year. Yeah, I'm not a big fan Scampering of him. Scampering off into the, into the darkness. Um, Ember, it's your turn. Uh, in order, I guess, uh, as of ever, as like the crying of the, yep, still still doing the, the thing. Um, I reach an arm out uh, and the following happens. Uh, the reaches an arm up to Hugh's elbow. Uh, I cast Cure Wounds with my last one. Oh, fuck's sake. Three, only three hit points. Mm. Such bullshit. Um, Alright, so you get healed up for three. That was not worth the spell slot. Um, mm. And as you are, I look over to Kai and for defensive purposes, because I don't know what the fuck's up with these spores, um, I'm going to bring Kai over to here, and then I'm going to have them vamp all of us towards, like, basically back toward Waku. If, ooh, I picked up the wrong item. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Nice. Um, so fiery teleportation centered the three of you. Yeah. on Just, on the yeah, three so of us. Put Kai, put Kai where you want here. them to be. Over here, please. Okay. So I'd like to transport everyone over. Yeah. I assume they arrive in the same position. Yep. So there. Yeah, that's fine. There. I'm okay with that. If you if you center your um if you center your token nicely on the squares, you can actually use the cursor keys now. Which is cool. Think. Okay. okay. And I can select a token to do so. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um. So I'm gonna do that. And that I think that's my turn because I don't think there's much else I can do, uh, aside from that now being if that if that spore thing area is alive at all, yeah. it needs to roll a dex save or take two d six fire <laughs> no, damage. No, it doesn't. But um, he, um, yeah, he would have he would have actually. I mean, you you all passed your saves, so it didn't matter anyway. Um, he would have actually put he would have cast that here to like, cover his escape. Instead, okay. Cause, yeah, because it changed. Yeah, so it's okay. it's there. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, Sounds cool. Good. Thank you. That's where I'm at. I'll tell you one thing I do miss about Roll Twenty. I do miss some things from time to time. Um, I miss like having the spell descriptions in the stat book because <laughs> I've just got a list of all of his spells. It's like, oh, what do these do? <laughs> it's weird that you can't click them now. Well, because it's it's just in Dan's PDF. If it was oh, in if it was in oh. DD Beyond, I, I would have them. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's yeah, like yeah, if yeah. you're in D and D Beyond, you should be able to click on them. And yeah, it yeah, pop that's up. okay. Um, so let me quickly check something. Bear with me, folks. One, one more. I can't wait for a level up to find me for more spell slots. Mm. If I level up Druid, mind <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. I don't okay. think it, I can't have Kai do anything else other than that as well. So. Okay, so um, let's see here. Okay, 
they, yeah, this this uh, maniacal druid, is going to. Um, is going to. Yep, it's his turn now. What? The, the first one was the surprise was, round, and now he now it it's his turn round. in the regular. Oh, okay. Um, and he is going to come leaping through. I'm going to stick up here. Hang on. Uh, okay, he um, just comes bursting um, through those spores there um, and leaps out into the maze next to you, Embra. Wait, legit? And uh, okay. yeah, with that withering staff, just goes um, for you there. Uh, just a straight so roll I'm now. Rolling a... uh, no, not yet. I'm um, rolling. Let's see if I hit. Okay. Just a straight up roll now. Oh, that's only a only a fifteen. Uh, fifteen is my armor class. Ow! Oh, it's a pizza. Sorry. Okay, so he leaps through, and that stuff um, just um, smacks into your back, um, and you feel the damage going across. Um, you take nine bludgeoning. Okay. Um, five poison. Okay. And 11 necrotic. So how much is that total? Uh, 21. All right, I'm bloodied. <laughs> I mean, I'm on last legs. Last legs? Ooh. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I've only got 13 hit points left. I'll just put it, I'm gonna put it oh, as no, no. a couple else. 13 is okay, yeah. So bloodied, bloodied yeah. but I also am very out of healing at this point. And can you give me a... Um, uh, can I do... I can't do a reaction to that, can I? Depends. Because it's not a melee attack. Hang on, let me double check that. No, it's not a melee. This isn't a melee style attack, is it? It is a melee attack, yeah. Does melee attack. When it says melee attack, does that include melee spells? I'm just, I mean, this is. He's just hitting you with a staff. <laughs> okay, in that case, can I. Mm -hmm. Can I please do? Oh no, hang on. No, I need the spell spots. Never mind. Um, it's a. If that was a con save. Please. Uh, that was an eighteen. Okay. You do not get that disadvantage. Um, That's a lot oh, of damage, though. Hugh. Sorry, yeah. Hugh. It's only um, it's only d twenty rolls that are strength and constitution. Sorry. Okay. Not That's everything. all of what he does. But yeah. That's a lot, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. a lot. Yeah, you went for the fighter. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, at the end of his turn, um, he... Yeah, he can he can throw another of those um, spreading spores. So he, he throws one down um, on the four of you there. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so, Amara, Kai, and Waku, please. Okay. Uh, what? I... Which one was it? I'm um, 19 on the dice, so it's going to be 18. You're good. Okay. And there's no. This isn't a particular type of damage, right? It's uh, necrotic. Necrotic. Okay, you yeah, know it. Uh, you said con, correct? Con save, please, yeah. Does it, have to, does it have to be. Um, do they have to be standing in it? Because Kai's flying. Um, it's, it's a cube. It's a. Okay, no, no, you're good. I'm just double checking. Mm, please. Uh, uh, do you do you want one from the zombie? Uh, yeah, they're not immune to necrotic damage, are they? Let me double check. They're immune to poison. Oh. Okay. Nineteen for Kai. Okay, shit. Damn Everyone, Kai. Come in with these freaking Tokon saves, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um. Well. Twelve. Oh, that is not enough. I'm afraid. Um, zombie. Two takes four necrotic damage. Okay. Weird that they're not resistant to it, but yeah, it's poisoned. Mm. Yeah, right. Am immune well, to necrotic because it just like wastes away, wasting away the sh the flesh. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Um, okay. 
and um, Waku. Um, let's have a look here. Does anybody have healing potions, or am I the only Waku. source of healing? Waku. I do Scarlet. I have two. Thank goodness. Thank you. Um, the. Yeah, it's just Waku's turn. Um, actually, sorry. Um, for the for the four of you, um, it's sorry. It was, it was the start of your turn. You make that save, so that would have happened when you when it comes around to your turn. Okay. Well, it's as it happens, it is currently the start of my turn. <laughs> dun dun. Uh, true, true. So, um, Waku, the great and powerful, steps this way, steps this way, so he's out of the thing, and he's going to hold aloft a, uh, a uh, great and powerful skull made of gold, <laughs> and summon a another undead from the ether <laughs> oh, to yes. block the door. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yes. It is a special zombie, though, so we gotta we gotta make it special. Uh, okay. I, the great and powerful Waku, have no time for this bullshit. <laughs> okay, let's make it this one. <laughs> yep. Hello. Uh, move him to the door, right. and then I will command all of my zombies with my bonus action to, um, fuck him up! <laughs> Technical time. Okay, uh, we'll start with the. We'll start with. Well, they they all have different attacks now, don't they? Um, so give me just. A <laughs> I I am not used to playing the, the, minion, yourself. the minion lord. I, yeah. Um, I. So sorry, John. Um, I sent you a message, but. I actually have to run. I am so sorry, guys. Baby's got an ear infection, and oh, no. I'm yeah, needed, okay. so I'm sorry to jump mid-session. But okay. um, yeah, if I can jump back in later, I will. But no worries. All yeah. best. All right. Okay. Bye, okay. guys. Sorry. No worries. I'll I'll handle the fighter in the meantime. Just wait. Um, All right. Oh, Scarlet's GM. No. <laughs> Zombie number one. Wait. I must rectify this. It's, it's, it's okay, zombie number one missed. <laughs> good news, good news. Uh, it's zombie number three. Um, spear zombie, go! <laughs> oh, oh yeah, God. I forgot about the spear zombie. Yeah, with the magic bonus, let's go! There, there, there. Uh, and then that is Amara, not Amara, sorry, not uh, Hugh. You guys can change the forces of fate. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Let me know when you're ready and we're lit. Oh, why is it so small? Amaris. What? Grow. There you go. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. <laughs> For some reason, the, the token was tiny. I don't know why. Because you broke it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Not my gov. And... Boop. 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 I found it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> you are Amaris. You feel you're feeling yourself again. <sighs> it is like a Goliath episode there for a second, but you're all good. Um okay, so how do the other zombies go, mate? Sorry. Uh nineteen to hit. Uh nineteen yeah. sounds good. Let me double check. I hope so. Got my uh, got my back skin oh, sure, on, but it's not enough. 19's not enough? Uh, no, um, the bark skin is not enough to protect him. <laughs> okay. Uh, 10... Fuck, you say. 10 damage uh, okay. of the piercing variety. Ooh. Uh, and these all these things are in different places. Um, <laughs> and so the last one to hit is my spell attack modifier, which is a good thing to see. So how about a 17? It's... All right. Um, go ahead and get ready with a con save while I figure Blue. out this damage here. Uh, save DC is 15. Ooh, it makes it, I'm afraid. Uh, that's okay. Would have mm -hmm. ruined the uh, encounter. 
<laughs> it would have paralyzed him. Okay. That's okay. Then Dan has Dan has contingencies. Dan always has contingencies. <laughs> you can tell that first as a teacher. <laughs> I'm like, ah, yes, you've been caught in a classroom with like 15 minutes left. You can tell. <laughs> Which one? I, I gotta get rid of that dice. I can't use that. Um, <laughs> Just try this. Well, it's it it's. I mean, that's from the gen time I went to Gen Con last, which was 2018 apparently. Uh, and there's writing on the six and writing on the one, and I could I was like, is, is it a six or a one? I don't know, man. You wrote on both sides. Um, so I just roll a different one. Um, it's gonna be a eight slashing damage from his putrid claws. <laughs> putrid claws. Eight slashing. Okay. Uh, and for the record, I have concentration. Gotcha. Uh, eight uh, damage. Um, oh, lucky. You know what? Let's just, let's just write it to C, because that's very long. <laughs> the, the word concentration. Gotcha. Thank you, mate. Yep. Um, it's Houston, so keep keep going. <laughs> um, Echo, Echo moves forward as... Uh, Hugh's, Hugh's going to stand behind him so that we're a little bit more spread out. Mm. Um. So, I think the best thing to do here is a great sword attack. Go for um, it. Thank you. Disadvantaged. Yep. Okay. Is it, is it a is it just? Oh no, I suppose it's a strength based oh, roll. It's a strength based it? attack. Yeah. yeah. Does he have a star weapon in there? <laughs> it's only a thirteen. Um. Oh, kidok. I assume Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Does he still have his second win? Uh, give give me a sec. I think so. He does have his second win, but yes, give me just a second. Um, how about a fifteen? This is, I'm afraid. All right, uh, second wind. Okay, so get some HP back. Yeah, let me see how much he gets back. He's gonna get 10 HP back. Nice. Nice. Better than my um, Crumble, crumble, crumble. <laughs> okay. We're gonna use his action surge. Cause Heck this, yeah. Th this guy kinda is, is fucking everybody up. Uh, he's gonna go down right now. Um, so we're gonna make two more attacks. I can't edit his um, sheet, so I can't mark these things, by the way. I will, yeah. Uh, uh, first one's going to miss with only an 11. Wind action search. Okay. Misses, yep. Um, that's much better. How about an 18? Hits. Okay. 2d6. 2d6 plus 6, yeah. Big numbers. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, there's a one on the dice, and I know that he is a great weapon fighter, so we're going to re-roll that. Okay. Oh. Uh, those are big numbers. Um, almost as max damage. Um, it's going to be a 17. Nice. Uh, sorry, John, one more feature um, that you'll have to <laughs> mark off Christ. is his Unleash in a Carnation, where he gets to attack one more time through his Echo whenever he uses the attack action. Oh, we're yeah. Gonna, we're gonna uh, he, he used that last time. Uh, he's got oh, he's four. Got, he's got four. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. yeah. So everything else is just one. <laughs> Sorry, with uh, with uh, the disadvantage, it's a natural one, so it's gonna Bad luck. whiff. Oh. Um, that's that's what we can do. Okay. He's got stones endurance as well. Yep. we well. That's uh, that's a reaction. Yeah. Uh, once attacked. So. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Amaris, yep. over to you. Just verify. Sneak attack is only with um, stabby things, right? Uh, uh, weapons. Yeah, finesse. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, so, but it, it can be ranged as long as there's yep. mm -hmm. people around. So if I wanted to give one of my potions to, like, to hand it off so that Umbra, Umbra could take her or take it on her turn. Yeah. Uh, is okay. that an action or a bonus nah, action just, or just, what? Just, just, just tossing it across his mind. Yeah. Okay. That she initially. That's the first thing she does. Is okay. here you go, okay. Achilles. And, I'll, say, uh, I'll probably say, like, digging it out of your pack and, like, passing over would be a bonus action. It's attached to her hip. Mm -hmm. 
But okay, that's fine. But, yeah. No, that, that's fine. That's fine. Is that not object interaction? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, you can just yeah, you just pass it off as you as you walk past, as you run past. Okay, so she does that and then uh, gets up here and uh, is gonna stab and stab. Go for it. And hopefully hit some stab. Stab. Uh, that's a nineteen <laughs> on the die. This is, so this is, this is where the <laughs> this is where the druid. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> yeah, you did. It's completely uh, fucking surrounded. So a twenty-five to hit. That'll hit. I don't okay, know why that's cool. so funny. It's like, and in this moment, they knew. As <laughs> <I'm fucked up. laughs> yeah, they done fucked up. Fucked up. Uh, that's seven. That's max damage on the dagger. Plus, I get sneak attack with this, correct? Because yep. everybody's all together. Cool. Yeah, everybody's all together. We're having, uh, so we're having a party. <laughs> that is a total of 16 points of damage. Uh, okay, so nine on the sneak attack. Yes, nine on the sneak. Gotcha. Okay, they are bloodied. <laughs> um, and Ouch. Um, back to Embra. All right, so Embra, uh, for their turn. Uh, now, the way that we've decided this is that to drink a potion, bonus action is to roll, and then full action is to do the thing, right? Holy like yes. so. Yeah, right. That's that's the that's the house rules on it. So, so repeat that for me. I was reading something. Sorry. Um, so house rules for potions is full action gives you max healing yes. and then bonus action, right? And cool. bonus action rolls uh, dice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, full action to drink up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Um, what which uh what type of potion was it? Was it just a? It's a greater. Oh, it's a greater. Okay. Yes, so ma'am. Forty-four plus four, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, forty-four plus four. Yeah. Six, so sixteen plus four, so twenty. Um. Damn. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that's <laughs> well, that's more than that's more than what I lost. Are you still bloody? Um. I'm. I know. Uh. Nice. I'm thirty-three out of forty-three now. So that's the full action, and as they're drinking that, um, desperately <laughs> through their beak. <laughs> <laughs> which I think is hilarious, a hilarious image. Um, they can instruct Kai to um, drop some bars, spit heat. Uh, but I just need to double check. I'm pretty sure it's just range to test spell attack. But I wish I could pop up sections of D&D Beyond as a separate window sometimes. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. Yeah, no, okay, it's just a ranged spell attack. So I don't know that. You make uh, little cards. That's true. Kai card. I just gotta. I have. See, I'm pl thinking of doing it once I finish making the plush. <laughs> um, what's my. What's my. We're, just, we're level five. Just like cross, cross stitch the, the mechanics of Kai into the plush. <laughs> so I used to have an embroidery machine, um, but I no longer, alas. Uh, so that's a 16. Meet to hit? Yes. Um, 1d6 fire damage plus... Ooh! 6 plus <laughs> uh, 3, uh, 9 points of fire directly into their face um, yes. as they insult their bark skin in <laughs> whatever primordial language Kai constructs uh, being like... You Bring in bark skin to a five fight. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking wreck you. Uh, but it just yeah, sounds like his hiss 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 hiss. I don't know what else. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. Um, right. So. Kai, does Kai speak infernal, or what? What language does he actually speak? They're technically a fire elemental, so they understand the languages that I speak. Mm -hmm. but they are considered a fire elemental so in my head they speak primordial and primordial in my head has always been like is it ignan yeah yeah but like primordial in my head is like the language of the like the beats and rhythms of nature in my head so like the way mm. that fire licks and crackles i sound in my head has like the same sort of percussive beat as say beatboxing <laughs> which is why i keep saying that kai's dropping bars <laughs> <laughs> because it's spitting heat. Nice, nice. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay, so... When it's his turn, he needs to make a con save against uh, the zombie's uh, terrible smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Zamaris too? Uh, anybody who's adjacent. Only. Yep. <laughs> so, Amaris, Is that you too, me? Uh, a, it's start a turn. Uh, it's Rude. actually, oh, it's only zombie number one. Okay, so you're okay. okay. Oh, I, I'm good. Okay. I think the, the echo, the echo's not fast. Uh, the, the, the the echo, you know, is uh, essentially already poisoned. <laughs> uh, con save, you said? Yes. Okay. Again. Mm, only an eight. Uh, he's poisoned. Bye. Um, a terrible smell. Mm, sorry, afraid not. Condition immunity. Ah. I mean, that would make sense. He's been trying to force thing. it off the yeah. whole time. Yeah. That's true, but boo. No, he's been trying to necrotic us the whole time. Boo earns. <laughs> um. Okay. He. He in a in a panic is going to. <laughs> fucked up. That fucked up so hard. <laughs> mhm. Mm Okay, um, he casts Meld into Stone and sinks into the floor. <laughs> oh, that's... Like, fully into the stone, you yeah. say? Yeah. Fully into the stone, you say? Um, so we can't put there. Hugh doesn't have Sentinel at all, does he? He does. I have don't Sentinel. know where. <laughs> okay. I have said my bit. <laughs> I think. So yeah, I'm just trying to double check here. Okay, so yeah, um, he. Yeah, he casts he cast Meld into Stone and um, and just, he's just like, One day, one day you shall rot. And it just goes down. There's just a ripple in the stone. Does that count as leaving area and movement or no? Well, no, because, I mean, because strictly okay. speaking, it's di still di went, diagonally swoop. adjacent. <laughs> he's just... Okay. <laughs> Got, uh, He's pulled, just pulled in cover. the floor now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yep. Just. Um, you okay? Yeah. Is, is it my turn? Um, it is, but um, we are going to drop out of initiative. Okay. I use my pearl of power um, to regain a spell slot. Okay. Look. And then I, um, I'd like to cast shatter. From where he, where he went down into? You are right in the middle of the maze. Second, let me make sure. So everybody, can you move out of here just for a second? Okay, one second. Uh, and right reminder, he can't. He can't. I don't think he can see, right? Um. Yeah. We'll we'll we'll, we'll move everybody so that they're kind <laughs> of in a better position. Um, this is the sacred maze, though. I I'm not a follower of Uptown. <sighs> I'm the great and powerful Waku, uh, who believes he's the best and the smartest, mechanically. Okay. Amaris, so make me oh. an insight check. Uh, mm, uh, that would be a 12. Okay. You say, how about it, Waku? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll... I'll cast Shatter on him. On uh, underground? Is that uh, the idea? I, I think I, it has to be a point I see, but it is, you know, it echoes out. Okay. Um, I'm doing this. <laughs> uh huh. I think Evra is 
uh, reach, they are reaching out for Amaris with like a grateful thing. Uh, they understand what's gonna happen and they are preparing <laughs> to use a shield. I feel like this is a very bad idea, just so we're all aware, but I, 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 I think, agree, I think but... it's the correct amount of chaos. It is the correct amount of chaos as a player. Yes, I'm down for it. Um, as, oh, a, yeah. as a as a character, I'm like this is a very bad idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind that this is the one thing holding this entire structure together. Hmm. You ask their wish. I know nothing. Waku, are you certain that this is a wise decision? I don't believe there was time for this discussion before Waku does it. That's fair. Is it double damage on structures? Um. Double check. I believe so. We're gonna be crumbled. Is what's gonna happen? Yep. Um, it, it is that a creature made of inorganic material such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on the saving throw to have. The dead silence is killing me. Mm-hmm. I. Okay, what's the damage for Shatter? Uh, three D eight. So it would be. Three D eight. Okay, so. Uh. Okay, I'll say if I'll say if you do over average damage, it will be enough to disrupt the meld into stone. Because my, minor damage, minor damage to the stone doesn't do anything. All right. But significant damage does. So if so, you get uh, if you roll three d eight and if you get twelve or more, twelve or more. Okay. Well, let's 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 roll it. Let's roll it so everybody can see it. Where's where's? How can I roll this so everyone can see it? Uh, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky because there'll be a cooldown on the thing. We, I can't. You can't do multiple dice in one thing. Ah. Sorry. If you do it on if you do it on your um, character sheet, we can see it. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. Let's roll on the character sheet. Yeah, roll to everybody. You do a custom, custom roll. Oof. Yep. That was a seventeen. Yep. Sorry, folks. It's just on screen for you. So Waku is like he's like I'll flush him out. <laughs> it's like what does this look like, Waku? Um, it it looks like um, the souls that he is has been given to power his energy, uh, scream out and reverberate uh, through the uh, through the stone as it shakes and crackles. Um, okay, so. You um, cast this spell, and this huge um, thunderclap just goes off. Uh, let's use the force one here. Just whoosh, so it goes in the middle of the room, and everyone like kind of shields with their arms as, as pieces of stone and little chips of stone just go flying. And and um, please roll me sixty six. Sixty-six. Yes, if you do okay. if you do significant uh, damage to the stone, um, they are they are ejected and take sixty-six damage. <laughs> oh jeez! Um, <laughs> I'll just I'll just roll it in chat just for or roll it in beyond. If, if you don't kill something. him, it will be amazing. <laughs> he has <laughs> nine HP <eight feet> left. <laughs> Accurate Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-four. Okay, so um, yeah, you cast a spell, and as the dust and the and the chips of rock and everything settles. Um, you see a twisted and bloodied corpse in the tattered robes of this druid, dead on the floor. I walk over to him. I got him! I got him! Uh, Emperor would like, as, uh, as like, the, the thing goes, is there anything collapsing? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll say, like, the whole thing, n- no. Um, but the the maze is utterly destroyed. The maze is utterly destroyed. Okay, uh, understood. Um, Embra is like, is anybody else hurt? Rummaging through his stuff. Uh, thank you again, Amaris. Um, 
that was that was very much appreciated cries in in you do it. Well, you seem to be the one that heals everybody else, so I'll heal uh, you with it, what I can. It is, it is very much appreciated as I reach out for Hugh at the same time. Um because I only have so many of these left, I'm going to spend my last spell slot at this point um, and cast, uh, upcast uh, Cure Wounds 2d8 plus 2 for here. Okay. Which is 11 total. Thank you. Healing for him. I'll put that on the sheet. Um, puts him back at 34, so pretty good. Yeah, it's above bloodied for him. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Okay. Oh wow, my Kai, my Kai streams. officially really likes. I, in my head, Kai really likes Amaris. Now it's like ah, haha, <laughs> <laughs> competency. <laughs> can can she like. uh can she give him scratches now? Like he's on fire, so that's your decision to make. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she would. She would take the, the like, minimal like, ah, damage ah, just to cheat. Ah, cheat, cheat. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Invest some gloves next time so that she doesn't send so her fingers. Stuff. Mm-hmm. <gasps> is it... There's this evil, evil druid. There's this room full of gold. We got stuff to do. We got the stuff. <laughs> We're here for the stuff. There's, <laughs> there's the chest as well. Sorry, Amaris. Oh, I, I, I am. Yeah, I, I haven't <laughs> forgot about the chest. <laughs> Amaris, yes. Umbra is a uh, druid, right? Yes. Umbra is a multi-class, yeah. So, did the stick that he was wailing on us with get destroyed, or is that just clattered around. Are they next. alive? I don't know. Could um, have gotten shattered. I don't mind. That is what Waku was looking at while you guys were giving Kai scratches. I wonder I wonder if it's an official thing or Dan's thing. Uh, it's called a Staff of Withering. I'm pretty sure it, I've heard of a Staff of Withering. Mm -hmm. Where did Kai's carry? Because uh, she carry? feels like that would be a really good thing for Ember to have. It can be used by Ember. And Dwaku already has, the, you already have a, a staff or a wand or something, right? I have a wand of fear. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. If Embro would want to expand her um, use of necrotic <laughs> damage, I suppose. Uh, there, but yes. You found it? Uh, no, 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 no. What is it? Ember's I did. I, I did. Uh, sorry. Yep. It's I, okay. It, I, did it. I'm very effeminate, I, so I'm like, yep. <laughs> I, th I thought I said that. Did I not? It, well, everyone's been using her today. Oh, okay. But it's okay. No, 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 it's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's like, Ember is, as far as Ember is, uh, like, I'm like, they, them. Um, but like, the Ember is like a, I'm being referred to, right? Like, Ember doesn't mind. Uh, I'm looking for... Oh. Have it in my I, notes, I, I did I find the staff of withering. By the way, it, it is is okay. a normal item. <laughs> staff of withering is a normal item because I can't find it. Found it quite quickly. Um, it's in. It's in. Oh, I, I, it's because I'm in looking at my own inventory. <laughs> if that's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't already have it. I don't it. have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wizard. Staff of withering. Yes. If if folk don't mind Ember taking it. Mm -hmm. Uh, em Ember does also have a staff. I got it taken when we were when we were when we lost um, Waymac. All of the pirates took all of our stuff. Remember? So I used to have the staff um, of Umbala, but like I... that got taken yes. during that period of time because we had to give up everything. True, true. In order to leave leave with our lives. <laughs> so yeah, it has has three charges. Um, it wielded, did two of which are spent. Uh, two are spent at the moment. Yes, they're recharge yep. at dawn. It's a magic quarter yep. staff. Um, does normal It's got a damage. high five. <laughs> What? The staff has a no. The staff's a hand. Hang on, I'm putting this in. I'm put, I'll put this in chat. Oh, the the picture. It's, the picture is a staff of high fives. <laughs> nice. Um. <laughs> so there we go. It is, 
It is a staff with a hand on it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just, just like tap. It's like a gnarled, gnarled wood, um, and just a yeah. hand. Just, on like, just like, like a pat. Like a creep. Uh, it, like it, it, it is a creepy wither. looking hand. <laughs> it is like you know, a zombie <laughs> hand. On okay, so there you go. Yeah, nice little, nice little uh, melee option. It's for like you there, a bro. handshake. Can you imagine approaching someone with this, not realizing what it is, and go to shake their hand with it and go? <laughs> Yeah, stuff for drink. No, it would. Yeah, it would be shake hand. Just... Yeah, they're chronic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it requires attunement though, so I'm going to. Uh, anything else that this druid had? Um, pretty much no. All right, then we have another thing that we need to look at immediately. The money. Ah, the <laughs> money. Okay. Money, money, money. So yeah, is so everyone everyone collecting that up? Um, oh, Waku think... immediately runs over there. Yes. I think uh, Ember is going to attempt to like trace out some of the maze, but like, I'm checking if I have mending at all, but I don't think it's going to be sufficient. Um, okay, so um, you quickly yeah gather there are three hundred pieces of gold. Damn. Um, <gasps> hey, Bridget. thank you, Bridget. Mwah. Who are the Where's spins my... going to? Where's my calculator? <gasps> I feel like this is going to be one of those situations where uh, mending is going to take a long, long, long time. Me and Ember? Yeah, it wouldn't work. Yeah. One to Ember and one to the DM. Aww. Um, Spin, spin, spin. Chaos. Ember's first. Chaos, 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 chaos. Well, magic search. Love to see it. Yes! <laughs> you love them. Me. You can have them all, Scarlet. You can have every wild gotta... magic search. Oops, oh, oops all on. decks for me. You gotta understand, right? Like, the number of times, like, there are so many options on this wheel. I have consistently just received wild magic surges, except for maybe, like, out of the, say, 20 times, at least 12 to 15 of them are wild magic surges. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm like, bring it on. <laughs> There are, it's it's definitely weighted in that in Wild Magic Search's favor. <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, that, that. That makes sense. <laughs> I also still haven't had a chance to check that book, so as soon as we get a opportunity for a short yeah. rest, I will read that <laughs> at some point. Oh yeah, the, the book that you summoned the last time. Yes, I'm, I'm rolling D100. Um, I guess two sessions ago, three sessions ago, book like it. 87 um, on the Druid table, please. Oh, so, so it's, it's when we go into advantage, into um, okay. initiative next time. But they, so yeah. there's a. I'll make a note of that. There's 300 gold here. Yes, and the chest. And listen, all I'm all I'm saying, is, it looks at Embra. Yes. And the reason we got that staff, right? So like. Am I using the staff to touch the? Oh. No, I'm 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 saying I'm saying like. Okay, this this is this is Waku's present to you. How about a little little present to Waku? I mean, I don't understand why. I want the money. I want more money. <laughs> <laughs> Waku, have you ever considered going to therapy instead of trying to compensate for your lack of self with gold? <laughs> so Scarlet, the player. Um, <laughs> The it's like Amber has no concept of money. Can, uh, like unless somebody tells them otherwise, they will give Waku the gold. <laughs> uh, I feel like the the gold should be shared between everyone. Oh yeah, I, that's why I'm asking Amber for money. So for you're trying to share money. You get seventy five gold. So so you're trying to take yeah. her money. Their I'm money. Try, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I can do it. I believe you guys. I can do it. I have it. Right now, okay. now, listen, listen. You, you clearly have not mastered what we call cobalt math. Okay. <laughs> cobalt. Is this like bird girl dinner? So, cobalt geometry. Waku, through his great and benevolent power, has ensured. That their greatness has improved through acquiring of this staff, which would not have been possible without the great and powerful Waku. Therefore, 
Lukaku should get 100 gold instead of 75. That's all I'm saying. Hugh, Hugh leaning heavily against the wall says, I think, um, I think Ember's magical abilities of, uh, repairing the maze and allowing us to actually do what we came here to do is probably, probably cost about 300 gold in, in for, uh, yeah, labor, labor costs. That sounds pretty out of character, Hugh. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think that Ember's given a lot to make sure that we can do what we need to. So I think that Ember you should have started. Just like it's confused because gold still is a foreign concept to them, <laughs> and it's just starting to like. Put it to a marsh, <laughs> I feel like it should just be split evenly between everybody. That's just what I think, because that's how we did it in the monastery, was that nobody took more than what they they needed. Uh, yeah, and, you're uh, absolutely right. <laughs> no one should take more than they <laughs> need. <laughs> so work. you don't need more than us. <laughs> and I need a lot of money. We don't need more than us. I don't think you understand what I need it for. I don't think that I care. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not crying. What happens if you get the money? Well, you're gonna you're gonna keep it in the pocket. Maybe you buy. Maybe you buy. I get to become a dragon. Okay. So you're Continue hoarding stuff so that you could try to become a dragon. Oh, Do you yes. see these wings? Do you know how I got these wings? With money. <laughs> the money just disappeared, and I got wings. She's very skeptical. Maddie understands that he uses the gold to become a dragon. She has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. She's just like... Continue to vent. <laughs> I still think that Ember's entitled to what they... they that everybody gets. Let, let me reframe this. Okay, you can try. I'm not gonna agree what, with what, you. What is, what is this gold? Money. Why, 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 why do we get, why do we all, we say we all get 75 gold? Because we all put in the work. We all did put in the work, that's right. How much is that worth? <laughs> what do you mean? This doesn't If we like take this, this beautiful staff that we have given and add it to the collective share. Can you use it? Yes. Are you sure? What, what, what do you think? I can't use yes. something that uses necromantic power? <laughs> no, it was more of the fact that they're a druid and she's also, or they yeah. are also kind of a druid. So wouldn't it make more sense for them to have it? Do you like necromancy? I love I, I mean, I, I like love you. necromancy. What is it? It's like I mean I like you, so I oh, do that's fair. Like, that's fair. Like yeah, that's a good point. To some to some degree, no. Or else, if I was more like um, Waymac, I would probably get growly and hissy at you. Not that I can hiss very well with the beak and all. <laughs> it continues to mend in the background think, during all think of this. Whistle comes out. Yeah. <laughs> like just like they uh, for the first time in ever, they try to hiss and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> as, as they as they like continue to mend what they can of the maze. All all I'm saying is, a lot of times, we go through these life endangering situations. You just walk that way with the money, don't you? We go through these life endangering situations. The silence. <laughs> we 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 get to the end. And mm -hmm. somebody gets this great and powerful artifact, and then there's like five gold. And everyone's like, okay, so I guess Waku, you get one gold, and I get a- That is not quite what I recall. In fact, you argue this exact point every single time we come across <laughs> any form of treasure. Because you and guys are, are, are- I still don't understand why, because it's not like it's food or, you know, useful exactly. resources so why, in the jungle. Why, why, so why... Why the resistance? Because, because it's a little bit weird. <laughs> I, I I think it's a little bit weird to not include magical items in our and calculations. Including absolutely of every single one of the magical items okay. that you have since come across. 
I was gonna say, how many magical items do you actually have? I'm just I gonna have... finish mending as much as I can without throughout all of this. Well, Waku, yep. Waku shows his single wand of fear. And you gave your minion the spear that we got in the first room when we were here. So that's two. Yeah, you guys were trying to take that from me too, though. I don't have anything. I don't have a magical weapon. Why do you get two? Do you want the spear? No. If I did, I would have said something. I'm just saying. You do. But now you're trying to cut... I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, give her the spear. I don't want the spear. Okay, well, case in point. The zombie took it because no one wanted it. <laughs> Dad! Dad! <laughs> Dad! I just... You're arguing for more money when you already got a treasure. She got... Uh, they got a treasure. And we split the money. What's the big deal? Good treasure. And everybody splits it evenly. Wouldn't have got it if I didn't kill that, that druid, is all I'm saying. I feel like we still would have been able to take it if you wouldn't have broken the maze. No. I don't think okay. so. It is Regardless so. Regardless of the matter. Continues. I love, I love sitting here. Cuts. I love sitting here listening stop, to all stop, of this, stop. knowing that for the remainder of the adventure, we are not going anywhere near any shops. <laughs> yeah. Don't need it. Doesn't. I, yeah. I don't <laughs> care. It right matters so little. <laughs> but Unless it's like one of those yeah. things, like enough gold, like gold use to cast a spell. Like, <laughs> if you have the equivalent amount of gold as for hundred. GP Pearl, can you do the thing? Question mark. Mm, I, I don't. I don't do reactor. Not not for rare ingredients like that. I do it for. Um, and it's not like we can do revivify or anything. Quite. Tap pat pat. I think as the as the conversation's like going, it's like pat ends the last little bit. Mm -hmm. Dink. Um, I imagine it takes that long. <laughs> okay, oh. this is not the last you've heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, everybody does get think... 75 gold. Um, somebody should add that to Hugh's sheet. Um, Ember actually only gets 60. They give you 15 because they don't mind and they're grateful. Oh, they're dang. like, yeah. But they, but they don't want to cause more arguments because they don't understand the concept of these shiny rocks everyone has. <laughs> and they're just like, if it's, I know it means a lot to you be to become a dragon at some point. <laughs> oh, well, I really appreciate that. Like. We're best, we're, we're, we're best friends. I think now. Hugh Hugh also Hugh also gives you his. He's like, I, I just want to see if you're telling the truth. <laughs> like, do you actually turn into oh. a dragon? Question mark. <laughs> Seven, Seventy-five. <laughs> hey, Christine. How much? How much should I? Sh like, what should I put in there then? For I feel like so, should, we, should we be making financial decisions for Colby's character without the presence? Uh, Colby, Colby would one hundred percent be fine with it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Executive Colby. <decision. laughs> Yeah, Just to right. be clear, anytime Maddie is not here, she is not giving Waku her money. <laughs> Just to be clear. Saying that. <laughs> uh, Colby's Colby's uh, pre, pre ride or die with uh, Colby, with Waku shenanigans. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Speaking and... of Waku shenanigans, having yep. completely nullified your ability to complete the quest, Ember. <laughs> hmm. I hope you're able to mend this maze. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Otherwise, we're in a bit of a bother here. <laughs> um, I think using a combination of mending and mold earth, they are like mm. gathering in pieces from like, and it's this weird dance is like the arguing is happening and it's like the off the camera slight, we only see hints of Ember as like, there's a sweep of the wings and like they start, Akai is like coming in with like a piece of rubble in their mouth. Um, <laughs> like, the as they kind of sweep the away <laughs> and just like neaten and c combine everything and pray because <laughs> they the thing is they do remember the marking from the temple and whilst it is a maze um the kind of the way that they're interpreting mending and the way i'm interpreting member mending is that it feels like things that want to be together mm -hmm. that have just been like yeah separated yeah also, also, there's full on like um, uh, puzzle pieces as well because it was just shattered into pieces, so the pieces yeah. will fit together. 
yeah mm -hmm. and so like with that combination of like usage and i have absolutely no spell slots left but uh should you want me to like pour something in i'm more than happy to um, um well, well mending's a cantrip right so you could mending's a cantrip and so is uh Mulder. yeah so that's okay um okay. you know you are drawing on the elemental um, abilities that the uh, that Saha has, has Im imbibed in you. Um, physically, oh. you're embodying fire right now, but you have all of those in your mm. in your background. There's like a like the little mag there's little drips of magma that meld the stone together every now and then. For, for mold like, earth, yeah, nice. Yeah, for <laughs> mold earth, it. just like melting it a little <laughs> bit and just <laughs> like like glue and going. It's like oh, a glue gun. Crap, we're missing. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, we're missing a bit. And then just like <laughs> sealing, the sealing happens by them running their tiny little talon over mm -hmm. the seams. Yeah. Um, this is going to take a long time. Um, yeah, I figured. But um, in the meantime, Amaris, chest, rogue. Yes. Yes. She, <laughs> she's going to investigate the chest. Mm -hmm. and, uh, oh, was was it locked? Yes. Did you, did you try and so, open it? I would have definitely tried to open it. Uh, yes, yeah. it's, 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 it is locked, yes. Oh, oh. this is locked. Oh no! <laughs> and she does a little. Cool, thanks. Uh... Marcia, what, what, what's, what's your lock picking fee? <laughs> uh, she decides who gets her, her lock. She just looks at him and is like, mm, You don't get to decide what happens to whatever is in this chest. You go away. <gasps> I didn't say I got to decide. Good. <laughs> and then she, not, she's not gonna go away though. <laughs> step back. Just I'm gonna stand right here. I wanna see what's in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Plunks down. Like like tr really treasure obsessed like treasure obsessed cobalt child. versus teenage princess. This is the worst combination. Uh, this, this, <laughs> this, this, this is how we're gonna do it. Dad. This is how we're gonna do it. All right. She just sits em there. She's anytime, like, em Scarlet, Scarlet the anytime now they're gonna start holding their breath. <laughs> it's like, what is it? Any? What is it? There's, we've got, we've got Team Dad. We've got like the the, the 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 arguing like siblings, and then you've just quietly got like that quiet middle child who's like, I'm just vibing. <laughs> I, I I was, I figured lock picking was the easy way. I have other ways to open the chest. I mean, it is easy. I just yeah, want to see what's in it before you do. I'm, just, I'm doing my puzzles. I'm doing my puzzles. Yeah, you'll be the first one to see it. And I'll be the second one. It's like you Kai's got like lo-fi going in the background, the crackle of fire. <laughs> you just don't get to touch it before I do. To touch it first. I don't care if you're the first one to touch it. Do we I not can... check for traps in advance? Oh, calling no. out as they putting a particularly large bit in. We're going to. She 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 does want to investigate it before she actually does the lockpick, okay. um, but she she's petulantly sitting in front of it <laughs> until <laughs> he takes two steps back. Obtow Obtow briefly looks in. And he's like, oh, "This is why I left," and leaves again. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Obtow is like a really bad landlord if they're a landlord, because like, man, the, the the infestation of undead that they are not handling is like, well, we need to report them to local authorities. Literally, literally, canonically, this is why he left. The just the the infighting the bickering screaming. of the humanoids. Yep. Yeah. So, <laughs> go ahead. Well, I gotta. I got a nat 20 on the investigation check, oh, wow. uh, which is yeah. a 21. <laughs> Excellent. Um, this has an arcane lock on it. Oh. Arcane lock? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, it's an arcane lock. It's not just a regular lock. Oh, oh the tides have turned! <laughs> uh -uh. Amaris, an arcane lock can be picked as well. <laughs> oh, can I pick it then? Yes, it's, it's going to be hard, but it can be picked. That's fine. You've got an advantage crystal? No. no. Nope. And do not can I give them my advantage crystal? You need yours for the maze. <laughs> keep it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm just you keep Trust yours. Me. Trust me. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> um. <laughs> How'd you go? Is it another natural twenty? 
Oh, I hope so. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Um, which for total love? Oh, what is it Wait, for lock picking? I have proficiency it's, in it. Yeah. I just it's don't remember what I need. Plus, sleight of hand yeah, plus your proficiency. Plus okay, so sleight of hand is a six plus uh, a twenty-nine. Nice. Wait, sleight of hand. You're, it should have your proficiency in there already, right? Yeah, if it's if you're proficient in sleight of hand, then it's the same. Uh, just, yeah. Oh, then so it's at twenty-six. My apologies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bar bards get that. It was it was DC twenty, so that's lucky. Um, Which is looking like to be an excellent system. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay. So um, yes, using your thieves' tools, Amara, um, you are able to um, bypass the arcane lock, um, <laughs> but it does fill the room with poisonous gas. <laughs> I apologize. Um, I would like constitution saving throw from everybody, please. There's just a whoosh. Rude. <laughs> uh, is immune. Zombies yes. are fine. Yes. I got an uh, 18. 18. I got a... Where, where is... A constitution save? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 17. Okay. Yeah, 13. Ooh, just... Oh, wait. You still good. Sorry, it was a, that was not a nine. That was a nineteen on the dice. So that'll okay. be <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, the other one. <laughs> Sorry, so there's only one one other player. Um, uh, they had to uh, just uh, bounce off to do some family stuff. So um, mm. it's uh, it's all good. Um, they are there. <laughs> that is that is them. Oh, it doesn't show up on the end of the Show my thing. Uh, the our Goliath friend is there, the echo with their echo. Um, okay, so um, the poison gas dissipates in a few seconds. Um, everyone manages to um, resist the uh, effects. A bit of coughing and sputtering, but apart from that, um, and Amaris, you open the chest, and inside there ah. is. Um, there is a section which has three indentations in it, one of which is still occupied by a sizable diamond. And a diamond, you say? Yes, and the two of them are missing, and there is a note next to the remaining diamond that says, when your bara falls in combat, you should revive him with more expediency. Death is an inconvenience that I have little time for. Do not make me wait again. Raznisi, Bara of Nezro. So it's a revivify diamond, is what it is. Seems for the purposes of. Now. Would be, if that worked <laughs> at this point. The key, the, 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 the takeaway here is that Raznisi has been reincarnated. So should be mm. under the effects of the death curse as well. And we know that Resnisi is in the area. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember how, how, what, what you've heard about him. Did we not find out that... Uh, Isn't the dude in the Uptow heart? Actually Resnisi? Yeah. I thought that's what we learned. Oh, no, that's, no, that's no. my brain. Says. <laughs> that is not Rusty's. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it is not. I, I very, I remember very specifically learning mm -hmm. that he is actually like. He was a necro. He was a lich, uh, uh, or trying uh, to be a lich. A, a specific named lich mm -hmm. that we were told not to bother with because he's, you know, not a great dude. <laughs> Fair, but um, Rusty's is not a lich. Okay, I don't think. Is he a lich? Just an uh, was a ledge. She is absolutely gonna pocket that diamond. Okay, okay. Um, there are also um some scrolls. So what was in the what was in the uh <laughs> chest, huh? she, pulls, she pulls out scrolls and says, I don't have any use for these. You might. Here we go. What are they? I, I was standing right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Uh, that's a dirty 20 for a sleight of hand. 
to see if you actually <laughs> see her take that diamond. <laughs> Do a perception you, work, I, I mean, the order of operations here seems a little bit off, but we'll we'll roll it and then we'll play it out. In use to native and puzzle piece while the two while the others are fighting. <laughs> Bob, Dad, the kids are fighting. <laughs> it is a sixteen. I, mean, I don't know what she took out. I know. But you clearly pulled those scrolls out, out, of, out of your bag. No, they were from the chest. I didn't pull them <laughs> from the chest. They were, they were yeah, absolutely they were in this chest. Oh, I don't okay. have any use for scrolls. Yeah, so Waku, <laughs> if you want to make a note of these, there's a scroll of heroism. Okay. Ooh, not bad. A scroll of uh, Crusader's Mantle. Just a second, where's my... Whoa. Mind? Interesting. A scroll of heroism, a scroll of crusader's mantle. And one one of Waku's favorites, a scroll of raised dead. That is one of my favorites. <laughs> More zombies. The, honestly, though, the crusader's mantle might be really useful. Yeah, I'm not familiar. It's like, especially if you used it on um, Q. Yes, I agree. Okay, that has done the weird thing. I'm just trying to get okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. All right, so. Uh, let's do here. You, um, Ember, have been yeah. <laughs> playing, That's doing, me. doing your puzzles over there. I've been doing Kai my puzzles while everyone's s- been like. Snooting pieces into place. Um, and like, just like Much gallivanting around, collecting up all the pieces. I think I think mm-hmm. some of the zombies just went left around devices, just like just like cat paw batting pieces towards you. It's like, uh, and once again, so it's like, yeah, thank you, thank you very much, much appreciated, thank you. And um, the um, okay, so I need you <laughs> yes. to make a spell casting check. Am I using my? Would you prefer me to be using which type of spell casting? I was gonna say druid just because it's higher, but um. Well, what what uh, is the mending from? Um, mending is from. I say, that's an excellent question. Mm-hmm. Mending is druid, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> um. Okay. I will use my advantage crystal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yep. Um. So, I think I think your your modifier is the same. They're both plus two, aren't they? Yes. Okay. Sorry, my brain's got because I've got like a lot of bonuses and saving throws. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think on on D Beyond it puts them both both there. There's two different ones. Um, yep. And okay, so yeah, you have a plus two. Okay. Right. And. Um, you have a crystal, so you can roll. I have a crystal. Um, with advantage. The DC is yep. 15. 15. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, thank God. Um, I rolled a 13 on the die for the higher one. That's 15. That's 15. I'm fine. You I'm fine. just manage to reconstruct the maze well enough for it to be effective again <laughs> and then are you gonna are you gonna trace it with your wings i am i'm gonna trace it with i was like my brain's like well i have a hand stick but i shouldn't use that <laughs> for this purpose right. um they're going to like as this again is happening um sparks at the fingers uh, as they start the maze to complete it um navigating uh, as they saw the elder do. Yes. Okay. Um, you slowly move around your wingtip, tracing the maze. As you, after you take a moment to look at it and see the way through. Um, mm-hmm. If you if you're like racing to do this and do it fast, there's, there are checks involved. But if you just take the time, you can just you can just figure it out. Yeah. So you trace the path through the maze with your wingtip, and. Mm-hmm. The solution 
to the maze it begins to light up on the stone mm. the path that you traced illuminating and the light grows brighter and brighter the others all turn to look at it and it culminates with a flash of warm green light. Hmm. It doesn't mean we fix stuff. Sorry? She literally asks, uh, Amaris is like, does it mean we fixed it? Um, <laughs> I think the sight that you see, if this is, is, I feel like Ember's, whatever light beams out, the shadow that Ember casts looks different to their current. Um, and Also, as that green light washes out through um, the space, you notice something else, Ember. Mm. The staff that you are holding shifts and changes form as well. Ooh. As the corruption is removed from it. <gasps> What'd you get? Is it a healing staff? It is no longer a gnarled, kind of twisted piece of wood with a clasping hand on the top, but a stuff. <laughs> I think it may actually look worse. <laughs> it's, I'm ready. It's four, four yep. bald-headed <laughs> figures with their knees clasped up to their chins <laughs> atop each other. <laughs> It is a staff of healing. <laughs> but it it looks, is a staff of healing. It looks kind of worse. Oh my god! And they're kind of, they're, they're kind of, two of them are doing like, <laughs> like clasping onto their heads in horror, <laughs> like doing the like the, a gun when she's the scream kind of face. <laughs> it's just like, it's it's interesting. Oh, you've changed the, the, you changed the necromancy staff. The necromantic power is still doing the healing. It's still making the souls suffer, but now you've changed it in that the souls are suffering in that they're giving their life force to someone else who is suffering, which is, of course, a painful experience. <laughs> Me I'm quietly. In, what is it? Ember quietly. I think I like the high five a little better. <laughs> <laughs> but, and is wondering if they... If, Scarlet, they, mechanically speaking, hopefully is happier this way. <laughs> Scarlet is very happy. Ten charges? Are you kidding me? Ten judges, indeed. Um, Lesser restoration cure wounds and mass cure wounds? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Dear... Oh, God. <laughs> I agree, though, that it looks a lot creepier and okay. quietly is like, Saha, like, I think no, in their head they're like, Saha, like, look, I don't ask for much, but can we please change the aesthetics no, of this say... thing? Yeah, let's 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 say that it has it has a it has a maze eng engraved on it, right? Oh, wrapping that's around. cool. Yeah, oh, it's like one of those pencils that when you were a kid and you had like the little ball in it, and then the <laughs> maze was inside the pencil. I love that. But and... it has like occasionally tiny figures stuck inside the maze, just so we can keep some of the creepy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and then we'll say they say that's that's a towel, <laughs> the little little ball guy. <laughs> Hi, it's me. <laughs> um, okay, so um, yes, that has become a staff of healing instead, and it is a druid thing too. It is. Um, but I like I like how it's still a weapon. Katonk. <laughs> still a versatile weapon. <laughs> Katonk. <laughs> Giveth and I taketh away the hit points. <laughs> um, okay. Stop it. So, well done. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> Um, you, are you going to go like back to the tower that you came through, or are you going to go out through the one that, the closer one that Waku found? Um, I think it's, it's uh, if Waku has not mentioned it, I mean, Waku There's a closer one that I found. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like, uh, great and powerful leader, it's just like, 
They're holding, I think, like, Ember's got, like, a like the equivalent of a little happy, like, there's a, there's a the distinct release of tension in the shoulder blades, let's say, mm -hmm. at the thought that all of their spell slots are not gonna be gone forever. <laughs> Every time. Um, I will, however, you make use of it, though, if I can go to Hugh and heal him up a little bit. Oh, no. And it, is anybody else hurt? Um, well, I think everyone can take a short rest because you need to attune to it as well. Oh, well, that's so true. You, you yep. need to take that take that hour there. Okay. To uh, become one with the, the healing properties. And that's when we get the request for the aesthetic change. Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, let me check something here. Okay, so you clamber your way through up the tower and this actually this actually works out nicely um from that vantage point because waku that that extra you found was like a higher viewing platform kind of exit which but the way that the palace is kind of listing Amazon coming in with a reading party hello Yahoo. how's it going Fogol? um i'm saying Fogol's joined us for our uh, anniversary finale um hope everyone's doing great um, that was a great time, by the do... way. You did brilliantly. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Um, um, zmp. There you go. Oop, everyone jump over and give them a follow. Good friends over there. Um, and um, you, yes, you clamber out. And as you come out onto the surface of the palace, you can already see that wave of green warm light has started to fix and immediately around the palace the vines that had overgrown it and the leaves are becoming less sickly and more vibrant and some of them have actually started to flower and the water that was up around the palace walls is starting to purify and you can actually see the group of let's say i think it was about five veggie pygmies that came yep. with you Yep. Because a group of um, five veggie pygmies are just cavorting in the clean water. <laughs> just, like, just jumping around and splashing each other. <laughs> They're like, little dolphins. <laughs> I, 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 I turned to one of my zombies and I'm like, man, this sucks. <laughs> As, and in complete contrast, Ember is like feeling full of renewed purpose. Like that little spark of like Zaha's will yeah. is like a little flame. Yeah, and Kai's probably like, oh my god, look at all of the plants! <laughs> look at all these things for me to burn! <laughs> and Amaris, <laughs> Amaris, you hear something in your mind. A voice, not our uh, not our little friend uh, Russell. Is it Russell? Oh! Yeah, uh, not yeah, Russell. Yeah, Russell. Not Russell's voice, you hear You hear another voice that you, uh, you haven't oh, heard yeah. for a while. And it's like, oh, thank god, I thought you'd fucked it up there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it, Nate. The collective you. Yeah, I kind of figured out much about that. Well, it is done. Now, Did good? It's time for us to go home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Coral <Corrigues. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is that makes three out of like, well, that makes two out of the party with people in their heads, mm -hmm. kind of. <laughs> Coral proofs, let's go home. <laughs> Waku's, Waku's hoarding gold, while Maris is hoarding voices in their head. <laughs> uh, we've, we've, all, we've all got our other people in this party um, that have been large influences in our lives and remain with us. I think, yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got Ember, Ember's got like Saha's voice from time to time. Waku's got uh, Granny's, <laughs> Granny's voice. Grandma! <laughs> Hugh, uh, Hugh, Hugh's just kind of kicking a pebble. Isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Hugh's, I, I would like to remind everybody, um, Hugh's echo is his mother. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> very good point, very good point. Briefly, I think it, it manifests as his mother and then changes into him. It changes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, when it first it appears. Gets, it, when it's summoned. Yeah. It is the. It is. Yeah, the when spirit, it first appears. Right. It is essentially the spirit of his mother here to assist him. <laughs> yes. Um, 
Okay. Not in his head, but with him at all times. There is the equivalent of an Ewok village party um, as you return to the... Uh, yeah! Nope, nope. Nope, nope. Waku would prefer not to engage. <laughs> this, I'm sorry. This... Is, that, is that saying like when they pull R2-D2 into the, into the dance? I'm sorry. You don't have a choice. <laughs> only, only extroversion. <laughs> And the, the, the zombies are dancing awkwardly like those rebel like the rebel fighter pilots. <laughs> Just like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I love that for sure. <laughs> so shit. <laughs> um, silly. But um you may all take the benefits of a long rest. A long rest. Yeah. As you... I can't hear. Recovered spell slots, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> As you um take refuge in the um veggie, veggie pygmy village. And then the next day, they use their cunning wiles and knowledge of the local area to guide you safely out of the Nisi Wastes, which, again, little by little, you see are starting to rejuvenate and return to their natural jungle form. And we smash cut to you clambering up the broken walkways and boards beneath the monastery and they're waiting Struggle. for you <laughs> they're waiting for you is um teacher also known as ashara our yeah. <laughs> skixies looking <laughs> arakokra she like hobbles yeah. out yeah. welcome back our scouts report success or well, so it seems Then a promise is a promise. Are you rested from your journey? Only rested enough, I suppose. <laughs> yes. Then I shall call on those that grant us our powers. There are powerful air elemental princes known as the Wind Dukes of Aqua. And they have gifted me the ability to perform the dance of the Seven Winds. And I think all of you gather in that area with the main temple and the main maze. <laughs> we could yep. just keep using this, this room because it probably looks pretty similar. Um, yep. And um, you gather there and um, let's have a look here. Um, Before they do the ritual, she looks yes. at at the the Aarakocra and she she leans in real close and she's like, "Don't tell my brother." <laughs> yeah, they're gonna get really jealous, actually. <laughs> it is okay, Amaris. We know your destination, and we know what it might entail. We shall safeguard your brother until he has a home to go to. But don't tell him you made me. I made it so I can, I can fly. So he'll get real upset. We should do the same for him when it comes time to join you. How about that? Okay. Yes, that's that's. It is. Uh, it is to be. A glorious return. And your highness, should you succeed, we only ask that you remember us and what we have done for you and your brother. In the return to the city's former glory. And she's like, I must prepare. And she wears this ceremonial kind of shawl stitched with various intricate markings and you see she's grinding some flower an orchid into a fine powder as others of the uh, arakokra here are preparing a ritual circle on the floor next to the maze of Uptal. and 
Så kan jag... They... Okay. Mm -hmm. um, just wondering if we recognize the flower. You have not seen it like before. No, it's it's a it's a black petaled orchid. Ooh. And I think some of the Ashara um notice you noticing and they're they're like it was difficult to retrieve that from Nangalore. But you adventurous, your journey has been so long. It is time to move on. So we did it for you instead. <laughs> ah, I see. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's it's a cool map and a place. We we, we might do it as a one shot sometime, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's really rad. But timing. as as it happens, I would love to hear the story of how this happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oops. Oops. All Lara Crocker's one shot one day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so down. Bunch of parrots squawking. <laughs> the curse of Al Cabal. <laughs> yes! I love that so much, please. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Um, <laughs> they prepare the ritual, and once Ashara has finished grinding up the orchid into a fine powder, she whooshes her wing and just ejects it up into a cloud in front of her and just <laughs> snorts all of it just like just draws it into herself and then her eyes almost like roll back in her head and she starts moving to the chanting and drumming that the other monks are doing she starts to twirl and move much more nimbly and lively than you've ever seen her do in other Parts, um, you know, and other times here in the monastery, Amaris, especially you, you've never seen a move like this. And there are seven Arakokra monks around the edge of the circle chanting in time with each other. And this continues for ten minutes. And at the end of the ten minutes, with a final spin and a throwing up of her arms with the wings, all of the feathers go up into the air above her and she collapses with just like humanoid looking arms because she has to sacrifice her own flight for you no. temporarily <laughs> I should mention <laughs> sorry yeah um, <laughs> um, yes it is uh, it is just just for three days <laughs> but um, the feathers spin around her in the circle like a um, like a little yeah, like tornadoes spinning them around and then they just whoosh towards you who've been arrayed there watching and impact against you and are absorbed into yourselves and as the rituals beneficiaries you each gain a magical flying speed of 30 feet wow. and when you wow. choose to, when you choose to use it um, Ashara's feathers the same same kind of markings and and uh, colorations um, spectrally appear like from your arms from your outstretched arms um so yes you have a flying speed of 30 feet um and that will last for three days and having rested and prepared yourself i think we're going to leave today in a suitably auspicious moment where you are all lined up on that veranda where amaris and embra first met <laughs> rather dramatically um looking out over the oh, canopy yeah. of the jungle Oh. And uh, at what are you? I have a very important question. Did my zombies well, get do, blessed? Do not. Sorry, no. <laughs> okay, then uh, what we're gonna do um, is as we're standing <laughs> on that veranda. So, so you guys get a headset? <laughs> no, because I need to cast once per day, and it's gonna take more than one day. Uh, I'm gonna point over, over into the distance, um, and be like, walk that way. Zombies, of course, will follow my orders off the cliff. Uh, and it fall to their doom. Okay. Uh, I'll take the spear. <laughs> Noted. As that happens, I think it's just like... Why'd you Are they meeting that? us there? Uh, no, no, they're, they're dead. They're, they're dead again. They were already... Oh. oh. Deanimated. Oh. You, you, you see, what happens is, if I don't 
re reassert my control, they become mindless, right. like the zombies right. we've seen before. They would become so right. be very dangerous. Oh, I walked them off the cliff, and you know what? They can't feel pain. As long as they didn't suffer. <laughs> they oh, they suffered just before I got to them. That's why they're dead. Uh, yeah. Again, Bruce the, the, like. But in this in this instance in this yes yes so yes they will they will not refer re re sorry revert to feral undead. Yeah, so <laughs> it's just it's just Waku being a good practical. necromancer, a practical necromancer yep. who does not Respons enjoy being responsible, being responsible mm -hmm, mm -hmm. necromancer. <laughs> It's it's important. There's a lot of not responsible necromancers out there. It's kind of let their let their it's minions true. It's true. go. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Look look what happens. Just stick with them. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have interrupted your your drama. Um, zombies, have a nice trip. <laughs> um, and I think. They do that, you know. They do that kind of special forces, like out the back of the plane thing. They're like, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, oh, and yeah, that's uh, so nice. <laughs> I didn't know that I could feel bad for zombies, but I feel bad. For <laughs> there you go. It's, it's learning well, all sorts of things. Apparently, this is how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and um, Ashara raises a weirdly humanoid arm in farewell, as do the other Arakokra. And Amaris, your, your brother is there. He, 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 there was a tantrum, but he, he's come to terms with the fact that he will get his chance soon. And before she jumps off, she immediately goes over to him and does the four heads together. And she's like, no, I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'm going to fly too. They told me. And we'll meet you there. No, you be safe and be good. <laughs> you got stuck with cleaning up the place before we arrived. <laughs> yeah, but that's what big sisters do. I'll, I'll do my share. Just be good. Don't give them any trouble. Any more than you already do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that I can promise. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, and Amara says, Rest as usual. But you only have three days, so do not sidetrack. You have the map. You have your wings. The lost city awaits. And the four of you just slow motion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off the edge of the <laughs> yes. And your wings spread. Freeze frame. And we shall rejoin you as you soar above the canopy, enjoying your ethereal wings, enjoying leaving chapter two. <laughs> we just finished chapter Thank two. We did it! <laughs> into chapter three, also known as Dwellers of the Forbidden City. Does this and mean? And we shall rejoin you. As level six adventures. Yes! <laughs> Thank God! An entire year of game! Almost. I'm, 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 almost actually, our anniversary. I'm, I'm curious. How, how, yeah, let's see. How, what, when was it's it? It's almost our anniversary, I'm pretty sure. We started. Hang on. We started. I can, I can, I can, I can check. <laughs> we have the, have the paper trail. Session one. Oh no, we passed it. It was back in March. <laughs> An entire year. We did it. An entire year at level five. Confetti. 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 Yes, chat. I hope you appreciate this. That was oh. their, this was their first level up after <laughs> after fifteen months. Hi. And I Cry. was level I was no. level six when we started the campaign. That's yeah. true. And I went I down a returned. level. I've now returned. And now I've returned. Welcome back. I now, Bridget, in my defense, you are supposed to level up from one to five during that time. They asked, and I was very generous to allow them to start yes, at level yes, five. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so there should have been four level ups already. <laughs> um, Waku looks terrible. I just want you guys to know that. Uh, he I, looks I feel like what... <laughs> increasingly necrotic. As okay. now, he no longer needs to eat, eat drink, or breathe. Wow. <laughs> nice. <Okay. laughs> I have to figure out whether or not I want to be a druid or a warlock. Yes, yes, Bridget. Yes. I level up every book in Candlekeep is rather nice, isn't it? 
<laughs> it is real nice. It's real, real, real nice. All of me wishes like we'd get like just a little bit more, <laughs> just for the spell slots, honestly. But now that I have don't have to worry well, about it, the healing it, ones it'll, as it'll much, much, I'm not gonna cry. It'll be much shorter until next one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And that'll be nice for Polly to come back to. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, massive thank you to everyone for joining us today. Thank you to my lovely players. Enjoy the level up. We'll hear about all the new toys next time as we swoop above the jungles and down towards the waiting Forbidden City. Amaris' home and home to other things too. Okay, thank you everybody. Do join us later this week. We'll be back in just center with those fabulous people. Patch's character, Carolyn, has rescued their fiancé from the clutches <gasps> of the Dreaming Dark, we discovered. These were not reverses of they, as they had been tricked into thinking. They were, in fact, agents of Riedra here in Faerun, having come through with several Kalashtar, one of which Patch's fiancé was. Not a Dreamweaver, but actually a Kalashtar from Eberron uh, came through when Meryn's character originally did five years ago <laughs> um, back with the offline campaign um, they are back in Eberron now they've gone back <laughs> but there are, uh, there are occasional other um, Kalashtar here as well as the uh, Faerun Wackyverse equivalent the Dreamweavers such as Bridget's in Candlekeep um, okay so massive thank you everybody absolute pleasure as always do join us as I said for Chisenta's Tyranny on Friday and, and then back here at the end of next weekend with these fine folks. <laughs> okay, thank you everybody. Um, we're gonna head off raiding after we say goodbye to these people. Uh, let's see who's on at the moment so I can get that lined up and ready. Goodbye to these people. These people. In <coughs> Who's which people? These um, people? First and foremost, Amaris, who are you hey. on the material plane? I am Maddie. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all those good places. You can also <laughs> catch me this week on question fees we can pride uh i will be Woo. doing my very first uh gm debut of kids on bike system on tuesday and yeah. uh then you can catch me on thursday for the cyber Vamp live reunion and then you can catch me here every other friday on candle Peak mysteries awesome thank you waku you good stuff Hi, my name is Josh. I'm a simulacrum built for the sole purpose of playing Dungeons and Dragons. You can't find me anywhere else, and if you did, it might not actually be me, so just be careful about that. <laughs> um, I'm <laughs> locked in uh, a basement when I'm not here, so please come back so that I... Uh, it changes every week, actually. I think oh, okay. It would... At least this variety. Um, so there's, 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 there's a good GM out there that's actually been sending adventurers to a phoenix's house in an attempt to free me from my torment. Um, and every time they get a little bit close, he is, of course, um, an evil genius and defeats them, but he changes yeah. my location so that this next right. party... Um, yeah. has they aren't a... aware of where you were. Yeah, yeah exactly. that makes more sense. Yeah. That makes... No. Yep, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Sorry, go ahead. find me next time. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, any magic to employ Emperor. Hi everyone, I'm Scarlet Song, she, her, you're not a lichen Lorverian, who I played Embra, the druid lock, um, I did, my brain goes baby, <laughs> um, but, uh, outside of Phoenix Awaki every Monday, for me at least, um, on, uh, Mondays playing Embra, you can catch me this week, I'm going to be GMing a very special, uh, one shot of with lesbian werewolf crime fighters, for mm -hmm. Quest Junkies awesome. Week of Pride. There's some really fun donation incentives, including group howls. You can throw balls at them. It, 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 yes, um, um, there may or may not be plans for certain uh, dramatic uh, music montages planned um, and a spaceship that's very well named. I'm, not, I'm gonna say that now. Um, and then nice. other than that, consider voting myself and quest junkies uh at the crit awards uh, we've been nominated oh, once again yeah for uh best a a setting description uh for uh, time and then other than that i'm going to be doing hopefully the books in a open and an in-depth look at the new lancer core rulebook that's come out which Oh, it's already so pretty. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a follow link up there in chat for uh, question because UK jump on that and getting all that charity goodness this week. 
Thank you, thank you. Um, and us over here are Phoenix and Mikey. We play lots of DD and other TTRPGs, and we had a very nice time with our fun old um, sexy battle wizards from Grant Howard on Saturday as a little aside for the Fund Over and Below crew. Um, absolutely awesome stuff. Do check out the VODs here on Twitch for that. Um, if you want our other VODs, they're over on YouTube, hanging over there. And um, if you would like to get some awesome stuff, extra content and things for your games um like we've enjoyed today with dan's work in the nisi wastes you can Eep. check out all of our cool sponsors there the fabulous discord that is dm charlie gaming lots and lots of very very um veteran and experienced dms ready to take you off on adventures or just share their sage advice with you in the discord um do check out the awesome troll lord games more from them in just a moment if you want some cool encounters and beautiful maps and interesting design, things to drop into your game or little mini campaigns to run, CZRPG has got you covered. And of course, to bring it all together, we need them beautiful, wonderful uh, click clack math rocks. And we can't recommend more than Phoenix Dice. Um, currently celebrating their fifth anniversary with a very special giveaway. Did anyone see that? Um, a yes. certain giveaway which includes the prize of a seat at the Phoenix Iwaki table. Um, so do jump in on that. Um, go over to Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Dice's uh, Instagram and check out the, their stuff there. And um, that is that. Um, as I said, Trollo Games, a little bit more from them as usual. They are doing a Kickstarter, um, funded in 13 minutes. That's all that stuff does very, very quick. Um, and absolutely <laughs> wonderful stuff. They are purging all of that OGL nonsense out of their Castles and Crusades game. Mm. Um, so that is being redone. Lots of beautiful arts and everything in there. Um, of course, by the humans. And, oh, um, <laughs> of course. Um, so do please check out their awesome Kickstarter and enjoy all that goodness. Um, I'll drop the um, little promo vid for that in a second. Hey, thanks, Phantom. That'll be Phoenix Dice's Instagram there. Do jump in on that. I hope everyone's uh, able to uh, get in the giveaway there. Lots of other cool prizes in there as well. Some original character Ooh. art, some of the bits and bobs as well. Uh, beautiful dice case from uh, dice. Michelle themselves. Yeah. The dice. Yes. Gorgeous. And, I like um, homebrews. Both <laughs> right. life thing, just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, absolute pleasure as always. Thank you all so much. And we look forward to seeing you next time. But till then, stick around for the raid if you've got them at the Phoenix display. And until next time, as we like to say around these parts, I'm going to say bye. Bye, Bye. 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 bye.